Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of CSCART Shopify Connector add-on. Now this add-on allows the admin to synchronize Shopify products and orders to his CSCART store. This in turn allows you to connect and integrate the Shopify data to your CSCART store. Apart from that, the add-on allows you to map categories and shipping location for the products as required and the admin can add multiple Shopify accounts as well. Can you note that this particular add-on is well integrated with the CSCart, CSCart Multi-Vendor and CSCart Multi-Vendor Plus as well. That means that the vendors can also add their shopping accounts under their own account panel and can add multiple accounts as required. So the admin and the vendors can import products from Shopify store to the CSCart store with variations as well. But for that, the product variation add-on is required. Products get imported with product name, cost, main image, description, code, weight and variations. The admin can import products by collection using both collection smart and collection custom there. The admin and the sellers can map the Shopify categories with the CS card categories as required. Orders get synchronized to the Shopify in real time when created in your, in your CS card store. The admin and the sellers can import orders from Shopify to CSCart and can handle multiple Shopify store accounts from the CSCart panel itself. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the initial configuration settings, uh, the procedure to add Shopify account and how to manage the account itself. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. Now the account that we will be checking out today I have for that I have used the default category as apparels, uh, apparels and uh, all of the Shopify uh, products are being listed here within the CS card store uh, under the apparel uh, category itself. So here you can see that we have a queso art painting and this is the product that we have imported from the Shopify into the CS card store and the rest of the products that you're seeing as well there. Now, uh, first of all, let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin. For that, we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the email and the password and tapping on the sign in button. Now, after the successful installation of the CSCut Shopify connector add on, the very first uh, uh, configuration that you need to do is under add ons and manage add ons. Let me cancel this out, and here you have to search for Shopify. Or the Shopify connector that you've already installed and here you can see that the admin can synchronize his product category and orders in a very simple way so here you have to go to the settings option this is the initial configuration settings basically for the Shopify connector and here you have to select the order status for stop sending products to Shopify so whichever order statuses that you have selected for those order statuses uh, what we'll be doing is uh, the order status uh, selected for stop sending products to Shopify for those selected orders the products would not be sent out to the Shopify store itself and then you have to tap here on the save button to save the initial configuration settings now after that uh, you have to go to the uh, website section and on the website you will find the Shopify connector wherein you will be able to manage and view Shopify store to map and uh, to map your data with the CS card store there so if I tap here on the Shopify connector section as an admin, uh, as I've already told you, the vendors would be able to add their own uh, Shopify accounts under their own account panel, uh, similar to admin there. Uh, so I'll be showing you that as well in a while from now. So here you'll find the complete list of Shopify stores that you've uh, connected with your CS card store as you can see. And here you'll be able to manage the Shopify accounts as well. So if you have already created the accounts uh, or uh, you have uh, basically authenticated and added the Shopify accounts uh, there, then you'll be able to edit the accounts, delete accounts, manage Shopify products for each of the accounts that you have edited, manage Shopify orders, you can import Shopify orders, you can manage Shopify shipping templates and you can also map the categories there uh, of the Shopify with the CS card store as well as per the requirement. Now the very first thing that I want to show you here is how to add the Shopify accounts within the store. For that you have to tap here on the add Shopify account button. Now from here the admin can uh, add his own Shopify account or can uh, do it on the behalf of the marketplace vendors as well. So if you want to add it for a marketplace vendor, you have to search here for the vendor, select that particular vendor 
and then enter the API key, password, domain name, and the shop name here within these fields for the shop credentials. Now here we also have three different uh, other tabs as uh, you can see with the order settings, product settings, and the webhook settings. The webhook settings needs to be done in the last there. And uh, under the general settings, after uh, you have selected the vendor, or if you're doing it for your own store there, you have to select your own store and uh, you have to enter the api key and the password that you will get from your shopify account for more details on how to get the same you can check the user guide that i have attached within the description of this particular video there itself now after entering these details uh, you have to go to the order settings select the payment processor for the orders of the shopify select the shipping method for the orders of the shopify there same goes with the product settings here you have to select the default category that would be assigned to the Shopify products that you're importing from uh, the Shopify into your CS card store and you have to choose the Shopify currency for the products that you're going to import there within the CS card store. And lastly, you have to tap on the authenticate button. After authentication, you'll have one option, the webhooks, so as to set up the webhooks there. Now, I've already added some accounts here. Uh, so let me edit one account that's here, the very first one that you can see for this sim tech here, uh, ankita-cscots.myshopify.com. Uh, let me edit this account. So hey, uh, I'll show you what uh, different settings we have set up. Here we have chosen the store or the vendor as sim tech. Uh, we have entered the API key password, set up the domain name, shop name, and then we have authenticated the account after authentication. We have set up the order settings, the payment processor and the shipping methods for the uh, Shopify orders. Then for the Shopify products, we have chosen the default category as electronics, Shopify uh, currency as US dollars. Then under webhook settings, we have set up the webhooks. Now for any other account that I've already added, added I'll show you how to set up the webhooks. So for example, webhool006 uh, is here. If I edit this particular account, you can see I've done the authentication, but the webhook has not yet been done. So to register for the webhooks, you have just to tap on the register hook and this would register the same. Uh, right now, the payment method is required there. I was just showing you there how you can set up the webhooks there and the button that is available there for setting up the register hook itself. Now, let me take you back and uh, let me show you the uh, uh, account, one of the accounts there. So we'll be checking out this uh, ankita uh, store, uh, myshopify.com and from here you can edit the account as I've already shown you. You can edit it out, uh, change the order setting, product settings and you can set up the webhooks there. Apart from that, uh, you will be able to delete this particular uh, Shopify account. You can manage Shopify products, you can manage the Shopify orders that you've imported from the Shopify and you have created. Uh, the particular orders in your CS card store there. Uh, you can import the Shopify orders from this particular section. You can manage the Shopify shipping templates and you can also do the category mapping. So the very first thing that we'll be doing is we'll be doing the category mapping. To show you how to do a category mapping, you have to tap here on the category map option that you have for that particular account. Now here you can see that we have the CS card uh, category ID, the default categories here and the Shopify collection IDs and the Shopify collection itself like smart, smart collection and the others that are there. Now to map the categories, what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add button from the drop down for the first option for the CS card category, you have to choose the CS card category. For example, I will go for with the desktops and then uh, to, to map it with the Shopify category there, I can choose any one of them. For example, home page, and I can tap here on the map button to map the particular categories there. And that uh, would then be uh, mapped here. As you can see, we have mapped desktops with the Shopify collection ID and the Shopify collection as homepage. So that's how we can do the category mapping. Then uh, coming to the manage Shopify products here, uh, the second option that we have under the manage Shopify accounts, here you'll be able to basically import the products from Shopify into your CS card store. And to do so, what you need to do is you need to tap here on the start import button on the top right hand corner. And here you have to select the collection ID. You can go with the smart collection or the custom collection there. For example, if I go with the smart collection, I can go with this particular collection ID and I can tap here on the map product. Now after tapping on the map product, I'll be able to see the product IDs, their collection ID, the product title, the store product ID, 
the creation date, updation date. And here you can see on the right hand side uh, or on the left hand side, I can select all of the products that I want to uh, import there and I can tap here on this sync selected. Otherwise, if I want to do it one by one, I can choose the product that I want to import. For example, uh, let's go with this global test that we have here, the global test and I'll tap here on the sync selected. Now after tapping on the sync selected, the global test product would be synchronized there and would be imported and here you can see that the product ID is 328 now. The Shopify product ID is this. The product name is global test. The price is there and the status is active right now for the same. Now after importing this product from the Shopify store into the CS card store, if I want I can search it uh, within the CS card store as well by entering the name and hitting the enter button. And you can see the uh, global test uh, product is visible here and from here you can uh, visit the product page as well to find the complete details of the product there and here you can see that it's under the electronics category because electronics was set uh, for this particular account as the default category when we are importing the products from the shopify store into the cs card store there so this was how to uh, basically manage the Shopify products. If I want, I can just uh, open this particular product in uh, the edit mode as well. And I can edit the details of the product as well. Uh, we can find this particular product in the product section as well. If I go to the product section in the CS card backend, I can enter, for example, global. And I can hit the enter button. And you can see because it had variations, so we have the different variations of this particular product like red, yellow, red, medium, small, large, extra large and large as well. Right. Now, let me close this out. Now, then we have the manage Shopify orders. So if I go to manage Shopify orders, here I'll find the order ID along with the Shopify order ID, the Shopify order total, the currency and the financial status of the orders there. Now this particular uh, section gets these uh, uh, orders or these uh, orders are visible here only after we have imported the Shopify orders under the import Shopify section here. And after we've imported the Shopify orders, uh, then we have to, because under the import Shopify orders, we are only fetching the orders. And uh, what happens is that then we have to create those orders and only then these orders get visible under the manage Shopify orders section itself as we can see. So if I go to the import Shopify orders, here uh, I can fetch the orders by tapping here on the add button. I can choose the date range by order ID or by status. Uh, for now, I'll be tapping here on the import order for all. And this would basically import all the orders as you have seen, the page has refreshed. Now for the particular orders, we can import the order by selecting the order import button and that particular order would be imported as you can see under the manage Shopify orders. So initially there were only two orders. Now you can see one more order has been added to this order has been created in the CS card store from the Shopify store itself. So this was about the manage Shopify products, manage Shopify orders, import Shopify orders. Now under the import Shopify orders, so one more thing is there. You can also do this in bulk as well. And from the drop down, you can choose import orders to create all of the orders. And those orders would then reflect under the manage Shopify orders section there. Now this was about the uh, orders there. Now coming to the manage Shopify shipping template. Now under this particular section, you will be finding the zone ID, the zone name, uh, the store shipping ID and the store shipping name from here you can edit any of these as per your own requirement there and from here for each of the countries you can choose the location depending upon the ones that you've created and you can choose the location and you can assign locations to the countries there as required uh, as per your own need there and lastly we have the category mapping as I've already shown you the category mapping there this is very easy for that you just need to tap here on the add new button choose the CS card category from this particular section and then choose the Shopify category from the right hand side and tap on the map button to map the particular ones. For example, we are mapping laptops with the test two category. So here we have mapped laptops uh, with the test two category. As you can see, if you want, you can delete the mapping as well as per your own requirement there. 
So yes, that was much about the CS card Shopify connector add-on and I hope it helped you out in understanding how it allows the admin to synchronize Shopify products and orders to a CS card store and this in turn allows you to connect and integrate the Shopify data to your CS card store. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubidas.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.